Well, if you've ever traveled between, say, Toronto and Montreal, maybe at some point you've thought there must be a cheaper, faster, more efficient way. Well, a billionaire inventor says he has an answer. And today he unveiled his plans to shuttle people between nearby cities at ultra-high speeds using tubes. Lindsay Duncombe gives us a look at the Hyperloop. The whole idea feels like something you might see in a space cartoon. People packed into a pod blasted across hundreds of kilometers in mere minutes. Sounds like the stuff of fiction, not science, but consider the source. I have a name for it, name for it which is called the Hyperloop. That's Elon Musk, the man behind PayPal, the electric car company Tesla, and private space company SpaceX. Today, Musk released blueprints for a pod-style bullet train. No tracks needed, just a tube held up by pylons, using airflow similar to a good old air hockey table and the same engineering principles that helped suck mail through tubes back in the day. Musk figures passengers could travel from L.A. to San Francisco in about 30 minutes. Maximum speed, a smooth 1,200 kilometers an hour. This is designed to be super light, um, and trains are just amazingly heavy. But this is designed more like an aircraft. A far better plan, says Musk, than the California high-speed rail line currently in the works, with conventional tracks and a price tag of about $60 billion. He figures Hyperloop would cost just a tenth of that and travel more than three times as fast. Other companies are working on similar plans. This Colorado inventor has built a prototype, but experts say slow down a minute. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone tries to take this on in the next few years but it's going to take a very long time for anyone to actually build something that works. Problem is, Musk is pretty much the only guy with the cash and the engineers to make this happen. And while he may build a prototype, he's busy with cars and spaceships, so trains could take years. But he's put the idea out there, open source, in the hopes that someone will take the idea and make it fly. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Los Angeles.